Mrs Dickinson and I'm the lead practitioner for Key Stage 4 at Cross Achilleog. Today I'm going to talk to you about your GCSE in English Language and Literature. For the last three years you've covered a range of skills in reading, writing and oracy at Key Stage 3 and that will stand you in real good stead for your course now, GCSE Language and Literature. For GCSE English Language, it's separated into three units. The first unit is an oracy unit, it's worth 20% of your final grade. You will cover two topics, an individual research presentation, which you will normally complete by the end of year 10, and then a group task in the autumn term of year 11. The second part of your English Language GCSE will be what we call Unit 2 and this covers a reading and a writing element. Within the reading section, there is a proofreading task at the end. They cover a range of skills from locating through to inference, and they move from low tariff questions worth one mark up to your bigger tariff questions worth 10. The writing section, section B, is worth 40 marks of that paper, and altogether it's worth 40% of your final GCSE. We then move on to unit three, it's very similar in style, it has a reading and a writing section. However, the writing section, you have two tasks to complete. For example, it could be a letter, a report, an article. Both of the tasks, both writing tasks will, have be, will be based on the themes that you've read in the reading section. The reading section will cover a range of five texts from continuous to non-continuous texts, and similar to Unit 2, they'll cover a range of reading skills. For your GCSE English Literature course, this runs alongside your language, and over the course of the two years, you study both language and literature. However, in Year 10, you'll be studying for Unit 1, and that's 35% of your final grade. As a centre, we've chosen to read Of Mice and Men as our main text, as well as Unseen Poetry for the Section B part of the exam. You'll complete this at the end of uh, Year 10 in the May. The second unit, examined unit, you'll take, which will take place in Year 11. We study in Inspector Calls and Heroes. The third unit is a non-examined assessment. It's worth 25% and it's a controlled assessment. It takes place in a classroom setting. However, we use unannotated texts. We look at Macbeth and we study a theme that's um, given to us from the WJEC. We will normally study the Shakespeare in the first half of the autumn term of year 10. And then we move on to a range of Welsh poetry written in English. We analyse two poems out of the 15 and you then compare and make links. We aim to complete this before the February half term of your year 10. So the dates that you'll be looking at for your exams, the literature non-examined assessments, as I just said, would take place at the start of year 10 and through, you'd be completing them by the February 2022. Your Mice and Men and Unseen Poetry exam would take place later that year, the summer of year 10. And your Heroes and Inspector Calls, that was Unit 2, would take place at the end of year 11 in 2023. Your Language exam dates, the Oracy, the individual oracy would take place in the summer term of year 10 and your group would take place in the autumn of year 11. Units 2 and 3, the reading and writing papers, will take place at the end of year 11 in 2023. I hope this short video has helped inform you about your courses next year. If you do have any further questions or queries, please contact your English teacher, or failing that, you can contact myself, the lead practitioner for Key Stage 4 English. Thank you.